God's Diaries The Return of Christ Daniel 12, verse 4, King James Version But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and from, and knowledge shall be increased. It is amazing and quite intriguing that the God of glory has revealed all his end-time plans through his prophets. It is amazing that through the prophet Daniel we have a view of the way things will be because the Bible says that God the Father is able to tell the present in the past, according to Isaiah 46, verse 10, according to the voice. From the beginning I declare how things will end. From times long past, I tell what is yet to be, saying, My intentions will come to pass. I will make things happen as I determine they should. Let the believers, you and I, listen and receive the contemporary world setup according to the word. Daniel 12, verse 4 according to the voice. As for you, Daniel, keep these visions and their meaning a secret. Write down what you have seen and heard, then seal the scroll until the time of the end. Many will wander here and there, and knowledge will expand. The phrase, knowledge will be increased or expand, is a direct reference to the prophecy itself, that is, knowledge of the prophecy will be increased. Many would seek to understand it between Daniel's time and its fulfillment, but its message must be revealed. However, its revelation will not occur until the people of God understand it for their well-being and God's glory. What are the chances it will be revealed in its fullness to any of us? My guess is, extremely small, because most Christians are in denial that God has revealed to the wise, or Christians, pointers of the imminent return of Jesus. In this prophecy, its plain and clear knowledge will increase or expand. We see knowledge increasing across mankind spiritually and in the circular world. The increase is in both ends of the spectrum, good and evil. Daniel, through the Spirit of God, reads into the diaries of God and explains it this way in Daniel 12, verse 10, according to the voice. Many will keep themselves pure and clean and refined despite the pressures of these times. But those who are wicked will continue their wicked ways and none of them will ever understand. But those who are wise will. Indeed, but those who are wise will, not those in denial. Knowledge will increase. Let us look around and see how technology is moving. Fast is not a good enough word, but to say rapid advances in technology would be more accurate. Many shall run to and from, and knowledge shall increase, refers to the unique worldwide travel in the end time with cars, buses, trains and airplanes, as well as the increase of physical knowledge, for example, how to build airplanes and rockets, sending people into space and to the moon and back. The use of automation, cruise control, and the scary artificial intelligence which is advancing in leaps and bounds. Artificial intelligence is a theory and development of computer systems that can perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, speech recognition, decision-making, visual perception, for example, are features of human intelligence that artificial intelligence may possess. Artificial intelligence is widely used to provide personalized recommendations to people, based, for example, on their previous searches and purchases or other online behavior. AI is hugely important in commerce optimizing products, planning inventory, logistics. It is amazing that through the prophet Daniel, 
we have a view of the way things will be because the Bible says that God the Father is able to tell the present in the past, according to Isaiah 46, verse 10, according to the voice. From the beginning, I declare how things will end. From times long past, I tell you what is yet to be, saying, My intentions will come to pass. I will make things happen as I determined they should. The return of Jesus is imminent. The signs are all out there for us to read and process. By the way, spiritual things have nothing to do with critical analysis, but faith. Do not be in denial. Ask the Lord to open your spiritual eyes and not your academic eyes. The devil is no respecter of persons. Society may regard you highly, but does that regard qualify in God's spiritual algorithms? This generation is struggling to keep up because God has permitted the invention of electronic communications devices. Humanity can send and receive information worldwide at a mind-bending, even frightening pace that demands our attention. We must make choices about what news we should listen to. In one sense, issues like those in our time have always occurred, but as far as we know, they have never occurred at this accelerated pace for this long a time in man's history. It almost seems as if Pandora's box has not just been cracked open, but thrown wide open. And so, we must face the unceasing necessity of making such choices. Some broadcasting stations even proclaim all the news all the time godly and ungodly news to sway your faith and convict the unwise of the non-existence of God. That is a sign of the end, according to Matthew 24, verses 12 to 13, King James Version. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Revelation 22, verse 10. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Daniel 8, verse 17. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid, and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall be the vision. Moses writes in Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. God, for His purposes, chooses to keep certain things to himself. On the other hand, through the prophets like Daniel, he tells us about the status quo before it's time for us to believe and trust him. He reveals a great deal about himself in nature, revelation that is available to anyone. The increase in knowledge cannot be denied. Jesus is coming. God bless.